First at 530, they're not just numbers, they're lives. That's the message from Hampton Roads Health Leaders. Centero Norfolk General Hospital reported a record number of gunshot cases in 2022. Today, medical staff from across the city came together for National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Allison Basil is here now. And Allison, you heard some powerful messages today. That's right. Survivors of gun violence in Hampton Roads stepped up to share their trauma stories. Some say they woke up at Centera Norfolk General with no memory of how they ended up in a hospital bed or talked of their long hospital stays. But each speaker says support programs at the hospital helped them restart their lives. Gun violence isn't racist, it isn't sexist. It doesn't even have no age. After a traumatic shooting last year, Kyle Belton says he went through multiple surgeries at Centera Norfolk General Hospital. Eight months, oh man, pain, pain. Medicine couldn't even help you. But Belton says the hospital's foresight intervention program helped him heal mentally. Employees say they support victims from hospital bed to recovery at home. Miss Shanita and the team was letting me know this takes time, you know, and everything will be, everything will get greater later, but right now, it's going to take some time. The program is battling against a rise in gun violence. In 2022, Centera Norfolk General Hospital staff treated 541 gunshot victims and lost 69 of them, according to a Centera spokesman. Very, very sad, and it seems that the uh, age of the victims is much, much younger than what it used to be. The Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters reported 20 child gunshot victims in 2022 and one death. They have the Safe Futures program to support young patients, but staff hope for a day when when their services aren't needed. It's unfortunate that we even need this type of program to work with these families. Um, you know, one child getting shot is too, too many. One adult getting shot is too many. And Centera Norfolk General treated 530 gunshot patients in 2021, 11 less than they did in 2022, according to a Centera spokesman. And they say staff treated 466 gunshot patients in 2020.